Example 11, f of x is equal to the given function. Now, the mood is equal to at x is equal to 1, they have given the value directly. Correct? Then f of c is f of c. When f of c is equal to 1, the value of c is it is going to be 1. So f of c is f of 1 and the value is 0. Simple. Okay. What, is, what happens when c is less than 1? What is your one and only function? When c is less than 1, f of x is going to be x plus 2. Then f of c is going to be c plus 2. What happens to your limit? Limit x tends to c of f of x. What is my f of x? For c less than 1, it is going to be limit x tends to c of x plus 2. c substitute panna, I'll have c plus 2. So, what do you see? Limit x tends to c of f of x is equal to f of c for all values when c is less than 1. So, in the given function is continuous. Okay? So, this is when c is less than 1. If c greater than 1, again, similar condition. So, what is your one and only f of x? x greater than 1, na, c greater than 1. So, I'll have x minus 2. So, f of c is going to be c minus 2. So, I found out what my f of c is. I am finding what my f of c is. Then I am finding what my limit is. So, if I limit can put go. Limit x tends to c of f of x is going to be limit x tends to c of x minus 2. f of x and x minus 2. And I substitute c, I will have c minus 2. So, what do I see? Limit x tends to c of f of x is equal to f of c for all values when c is greater than 1. Correct? So, this is continuous for c greater than 1. Ipo, you see that these values and these values are not equal to this. Correct? In the left hand limit and the right hand limit are not equal to the actual function itself. So, basically this is a generalized way of writing. Appa, in the c out value and the value of c is going to be 1. Appa, in the when I substitute the value of 1, when c is equal to 1, I will have 1 plus 2 which is 3. Appa, f of c, c and the, it is going to be 3. Similarly, when I substitute 1 here, I will have 1 plus 2 which is 3. You see that these two are equal. Similarly, in the when value of c is equal to 1, I will have f of c to be 1 minus 2 which is minus 1. And in the 1 minus 2 which is Minus 1. So, you see that these two values are equal. But what do you see? 0 is not equal to 3 is not equal to minus 1. So, you have left hand limit not equal to right hand limit which is also not equal to f of c. So, it is not continuous at 1. In that thala, c greater than 1 it is continuous. c less than 1 it is continuous. But at 1 it is not continuous. So, not continuous at 1. Which is not continuous the function f of x is not continuous at 1. Okay. Generalized case but you also have to see that it is not continuous at 1. Okay. You have to simply substitute the value for C which is 1. Example 12. F of x is equal to in the particular function. Okay. Now what happens when C is less than 0? I will have the one and only condition to be x plus 2. Up F of C and then is going to be C plus 2. Now, what will my limit be? Limit x tends to c of f of x is going to be limit x tends to c of x plus 2. When I substitute for the limit, I will have c plus 2. So, what do I see? f of c is equal to the limit. Okay? Limit x tends to c of f of x equals f of c, which means the given function is continuous for all values when c is less than 0. Correct? So, this is c less than 0. If a c greater than 0, and the one and only condition for f of x is minus x plus 2. Up f of c and minus c plus 2. So, what is this is my f of c. If a limit at the limit x tends to c of f of x is going to be limit x tends to c of minus x plus 2. And I substitute the value of c to the limit, I will have minus c plus 2. So, random may equal. So, this is going to be continuous. For all values where c is greater than 0. Suppose c less than 0, it is continuous. c greater than 0, it is continuous. At 0, they have not given anything in the question. So, the given answer, so the final answer is f of x is continuous in the domain. Out of the. If they are given some condition for 0 also, this condition would have been true in all the real number. If in that 0, we are not saying that it is discontinuous at 0 or we are not saying it is continuous at 0. We are not talking about the point 0 itself. 0 ka less than pakro, 0 ka greater than pakro. Okay. So f of x is continuous in the given domain. This is how you write your final answer. Okay. We do not know anything about 
what happens when x is equal to 0 okay x less than 0 ko greater than 0 ko matuna theriyum okay example 13 this is going to be very very similar to the previous example except in there zero condition kuduthirukku so first when c is equal to 0 what is your one and only condition at 0 it is going to be x up f of c and then this is going to be c so this is my first case c equal to 0 na artho f of 0 is going to be 0 so this is my f of c when c is equal to 0 okay done what is my next step limit x tends to c which is 0 of f of x which is going to be limit x tends to, I'll write c here and I'll substitute the value in my next step. c, in get 0 and it is going to be f of x and x. So, this is 0. So, you have limit x tends to c of f of x is equal to f of c. So, at 0, the given function is continuous. Okay, short form. Ipo c less than 0, what is my one and only condition? f of x is equal to less than na x square. So, f of c is equal to c square. Okay, now limit x tends to c of f of x is going to be limit x tends to c of x square. C substitute panna c square. So, I again see that limit x tends to c of f of x is equal to f of c. So, it is continuous at c less than 0. If c is 0 substitute panna I will have 0 here. I will have 0 here and this is equal to this. Okay, if c greater than 0. So, what is my one and only condition? f of x is equal to x. So, f of c is going to be c. So, when I substitute the limit, limit x tends to c of f of x, which is limit x tends to c of x. When I substitute the value of c, I'll have c. When the value of c is 0, I'll have 0. 0 substitute, but I'll go 0, I know. So, I have limit x tends to c of f of x is equal to f of c for all values where c is greater than 0. So, it is continuous everywhere. Okay. So, the given function is continuous everywhere. At 0, one value. c less than 0, one value. c greater than 0, one value. So, it is continuous in the whole real plane. Okay. For all real numbers. In Nerdama, maybe you can write for all real numbers. Okay. Example 14, you have to prove that a polynomial function is continuous. Okay, this is general. It comes in all your exercises and example questions. So, this is the base of which we will solve the other questions. So, you always have to remember that your polynomial function is continuous. Any polynomial function x square plus x plus 1 is continuous. x2 x cube plus x plus 0 plus x square. So, this is also continuous. So, any polynomial function that you have it is going to be continuous and we are going to prove that in this question. One no prepare a proof along the So, what is your first step? F of C. F. You have to first of all understand that your polynomial function looks like this. A n to the A n x to the n. A n minus 1 x to the n minus 1 where A n A n minus 1 A 1 A 0 la coefficients of the given x. X to the power n is the highest power. X to the power 0 is the lowest power. And you also have A n is not equal to 0. That is Highest power of the coefficient should never be 0. If 0 or what will be your highest power? This will be your highest power. Okay. So, which is not true. Polynomial na, you should have the highest power to be n. Okay. If f of c and wherever I have x, I am going to substitute the value of c. So, I have a n c to the n plus a n minus 1 c to the n minus 1 and so on. a 1 c plus a 0. This is f of c. What is my next step? Limit x tends to 0 of f of x. So, wherever I have x I am going to substitute with c. So, I will have a n c to the n plus a n minus 1 c to the n minus 1 and so on a 1 c plus a 0. So, in another way the limit x tends to c of f of x is equal to f of c. So, continuous. Is the continuous? Polynomial functions are continuous. Okay. Always remember. 